What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to link up shots in quite a unique way. So yeah, I got this idea from Sam Calder's new Instagram video and it's just this bit right here. Okay, so let's get into it. So I have my three shots here that I want to link up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is match the color. So select those two, go to modify match color, select the clip you want to match the color and just click apply and now all of those shots match up nicely. Okay so the next step is you want to put your scale of each shot down to down to 60 or well, yeah, 60. Okay, copy and paste, paste that. And now what you wanna do is layer the shots on top of each other in the order that you want them to play. So that's my first shot. My second shot I'm gonna put up, put on top, a little bit staggered. And then the third shot is gonna go on top as well. So you want to leave about a second stagger in each shot. It's quite a quick effect. And uh, if you leave too much of a gap, then yeah, it's gonna look a bit, well, I suppose you can do it a bit slowly. Yeah, I'll leave whatever then. <laughs> okay, next step is to select those all and we're gonna create a compound clip. Okay, I'm gonna go into our compound clip what you want to do is move your clips into an order and this is where you have to plan out your route of the camera movement you're going to do. So I want to go from that clip down to this clip and it's okay if they overlap a little bit. Um, we'll put mark, masks on later and then that's going to be my final shot. So I'm going to put that just up there. So we have our clips laid out and basically the idea is once this is all done, I'm going to move from this clip down here through here to that clip and then back up. So where you can see these lines, so where you can see the lines where you know you're going to pass through and you know it's going to be seen on screen we need to mask these and we need to smooth them out so the transitions look seamless. So let's start from the, the beginning. So I'm gonna go from here to there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use these clouds which uh, they, came, they come with Final Cut. They're in the generators um, tab, just up here. So generators and then the clouds. And these are pretty cool because they move but you can, you can actually just use any still image of clouds, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to drag those in over our footage and what you want to do is add a luma key to this okay so we're going to scale the clouds up and move them a little bit okay so i'm going to get a mask I'm going to put a mask on the clouds and basically what I'm doing here is just creating little patches of clouds so that we can use it to cover up the um, the edges of each clip. Okay so I'm going to, actually going to go back a step here and where we've got this really harsh um, edge I'm going to just add a mask Okay, so that's smoothed out a little bit. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to cover up these lines. Let's move these clouds into position. So, put that there. 
clouds look a little bit blue, so I'm just going to turn down the saturation on those. There we go, that looks better. Where the camera is going to pan through on the first shot, that looks pretty good. Let's move on to the second shot now. So this one's quite a harsh line. So what we're going to do is just add another mask onto the top shot. So this this shot here is um, it's really grey compared to the top one. What I'm going to do is just brighten the uh, the top bit up, and I'm going to do that by just adding a color correction mask at the top there. Okay, that looks that looks a lot better now. I'm also gonna copy and paste these clouds and then I'm going to move these clouds up here a little bit just to cover up that next camera movement and the mask I'm just going to make this a lot smaller just going to turn the opacity down on that that cloud Okay, so now we've put our clips in, we've blended them all together. Now let's go back to our project. Okay, so now what we're going to do is create the fake camera movement and link these shots up. So what you want to do is scale right in and go to your first shot. Okay, so the first shot is in position. What you want to do is make a keyframe right at the start. Slide along and move move the shot towards your next next shot. There's our next shot. Move along a little bit. And then move your shot up towards your next shot that you've lined up. If you right click and show show video animation, it will bring up your keyframes. So now you can move them about to perfect this effect. I'm actually going to add another keyframe at the start. So it sort of pans up. And there you go. So that's the camera movement done and all the clips stitched together. And now I'm just going to add some cinematic bars. I'm going to add an adjustment layer for the color correction. So yeah, that's the effect done. It looks like quite a lot of work, but it's actually not that complicated once you get into it. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. And see you in the next one. Oh,